Well, hi guys, and welcome back to Simple Life with Chris and Tara. Today I'm going to show you how you can make yourself some fire cider. My little late getting my fire cider started, but it's better late than never. So, for our fire cider today, um, there's many, many, many different ways of making fire cider. So many different um, ways and stuff you can add, and so which is really good because that means next time you can maybe yeah. add something different. Or so make sure that the main base of your uh, fire starter has garlic, onions, and some type of a hot pepper. And today the peppers we're using are jalapenos. And then we're also going to add in some crushed red pepper flakes. We are adding lemons and rosemary and then basil and then uh, ginger root. And then you'll also need some apple, apple cider vinegar to fill your jars up with. I'm using a half gallon jar today, so you need a you know a half gallon size jar or a quart, whatever, however you're gonna be making it. It's whatever size you want to use. And this is the one I've already made. This was on down on 922, so that's just been a couple days ago. But in this one, um, is basically everything I have here. I think I don't think I added. I don't think I had the the rosemary in this one, and I think in this one might be a little hot. <laughs> I think I had more more jalapenos than I really wanted to, but it's supposed to be, that's why it's called fire cider. And a lot of people use hotter peppers than, than jalapenos, so it'll be okay. Let's put an onion, uh, a layer of onion first. You don't have to get all, we're about getting it all off because we're going to be straining um, this out, so it's not going to matter that there's still peelings or on your onion. And we'll go ahead and chop them up some started and let's see let's put our jar over here and then just simply start filling your jar up with your onions so there's our red onion uh-oh my eyes are starting to water okay Whew, got back away from it <laughs> wash my hands off Okay, so now the onions made my eyes water, and then let's take our lemon, and we're just going to slice up <clears throat> some lemon here. Now, I'm also going to zest some of our lemon. I forgot. I do want to zest some. Let me get my zester out. Okay, you don't have to zest a lemon. Use the zest of the lemon. I just like to add that to it, so we'll just put some lemon zest in here as well okay. okay and then I'll keep slicing my lemons to put in there and squeeze some too um, before I set them in there just some okay Let's stick those in there Hmm, it smells so good. So we have onions and we have our lemons. Now put some our basil in there. Chop this up just a little bit. Oh, that basil smells so good. Now that we have um, onions and lemons and basil, let's put a little bit of our ginger in there. I know some people use a spoon um, to peel their ginger, which is fine. Oh, it smells so good. Now, just kind of chop up your ginger. I kind of don't have the right knife to chop my ginger up, but we'll use what we have right now. Okay, that's good enough. We're just gonna kind of Stick it in there all around. Let's go ahead and add some of our garlic. Kind of clean up my mess some here. And you don't have to worry too much about, you know, make sure you get all the skins off of the, the garlic. You don't have to worry about that because again, we are going to be straining it. So um, if you don't get them all off, it is okay. wimp when it comes to jalapenos so I am going to use 
actually, I think I'm going to use a separate knife. <laughs> a separate knife in everything for my jalapenos. And I'm going to go ahead and use a different um, cutting board as well. So let me make room. And when we are cutting up our jalapenos, you want to go ahead and keep, uh, use the seeds and all. <clears throat> I will cut off the ends of it. Set that over. But I might go down the middle once. Go through yet. Yeah. Okay. And just cut little rings. And again, you don't have to worry about taking the seeds out. Okay. Let me slide this over. I'll just go ahead and cut the other one up now. Ooh, I can smell them. Okay. So. We'll throw in our jalapenos. Um, I haven't put any rosemary in set. Oh, rosemary yet. So. There's some rosemary for now. And I will go ahead and give some more ginger in there. And chop a little bit more of it up. No use have that little bit set out. Some more onion. So there is our onion. The rest of our basil, I might as well. And just kind of chop it up. And Let's see, I haven't put any of these pepper flakes in there. Go ahead and sprinkle, oh, about that many in there. Not too many. Put some more lemon into it. This time I'll take the sticker off. And I'm going to go ahead and zest again a little bit. out fire cider you're going to find that there's many different recipes to making fire cider there is the last of our garlic we're putting in rosemary always reminds me of like a pine tree Christmas time okay oops that was kind of a bend it a little bit put it in my jar one more red onion <laughs> fire cider. So look how pretty it looks though. Just all the different layers. This is the one of course I'm, we made tonight. And then this one I just made um, two days ago. And so this one has been shaken up every day um, since. So this is how it started out looking and then now this is how it is turned so far into here. So that's kind of fun to see the difference already in just two days. Now you want to take your apple cider vinegar with the mother, um, raw apple cider vinegar, and pour in. And get my other one opened up. Give it a good shake before I pour it in there. Be on the lookout for on our channel a, a video on how to make your own apple cider vinegar. It's so easy to do and there's no way of messing it up. <laughs> so 
then make sure you keep these bottles so you can pour in your own apple cider vinegar and store them in them. So don't throw away bottles. Okay. You want to take a, like a damp paper towel, just to kind of clean uh, around the top of your jar and anything you might drip down the side of it to help deter the gnats that like to fly around when you're fermenting stuff. Okay, now if you didn't have a plastic lid, you wanna make sure if you had like the metal lids, you wanna put um, some saran wrap down first or actually better than that would be some wax paper. Wax paper is what you'd want. Put it down first and then twist it on. So, cause this is vinegar and it'd be corrosive to your lid. So you don't wanna do that. So if you're gonna use the metal lids, use wax paper, um, but I'm using a plastic lid so you I don't have to have the wax paper. So. Put it on there tight, and then make sure you, I always like to put tape down on the lid and do it that way versus just writing directly on the lid. I'm gonna put down that, of course, it's fire cider. And then today's date, which is 9-24-23. You're going to leave it out somewhere where you can see it uh, like next to your sink. I like to leave mine next to my stove in my sink. That way when I'm doing dishes or cooking, um, I'll remember to see it or if I'm, when I wake up first thing in the morning making coffee. Because every day for a month, you're going to take it, <clears throat> like this one here, make sure, make sure your lid is on good, and you're just going to shake it back and forth just to kind of mix everything up every day for a month. You know, you can even do it like a couple times a day. You know, if you go by and you think, oh gosh, uh, there's my fire starter. Go ahead and pick it up and maybe just shake it a few times and then that's it now you don't want to open up the lid just leave it closed there's no reason to open it up leave it closed so then after you've done that for a month and that's when you're going to take and you're going to strain it into a bowl um maybe even do it a couple times then you will have your fire cider and you can pour it into whatever bottles you may have like you know you might just use like mason jars your your canning jars or maybe you've got um Again, like your, your old vinegar jars are perfect for it. Just any size jar you have, as long as it has a lid for it. But there you go. There's an easy way of making fire cider. And like I said, there's many different ways of doing it. Go ahead and give this a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're not already. And thanks again.